This is just a quick little example on using a few little different commands. You have resize and set, which we're going to go over. don't really need count. So just to show an example of resize and what it does, we have our first array here. Save. As you can see, 0, 1, 2, 3, 8. It has all the nine elements in the array here. So let's say we want to cut that down in half. So we only want it to show the first five. Or, yeah, just to make it a little nicer, nine. First five, so it'll show 0, 2, 4. We would simply just do with the resize command. So we have array resize then the amount so we want to cut it down by half so we'll just do four so now this should only output zero one two three and four stupidity just like so now if we didn't know what the range this was starting at, we would use the count command. So, mount equals count array. This is pretty much going to be holding all the elements in the array. So this is going to be holding the, var the value 9, or 10, sorry. So if we want to go ahead and cut it down in half, by this way we would just do cut equals amount divided by 2. So then we would use just array, resize, cut. And as you can see, it gives the exact same result. So now we can go ahead and move on to set. So if, let's say with set, if we want to change a specific element. So let's say we want to change 5. So we could go through, let's see. It's the index that we want to change it at. So that would be just 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That would be at the sixth element in. So we could do array set 6. We want to change it to change it to 2, 2, 2. As you can see, I think I went one over. But you can see it changed the value to 2222. So another way you could use, actually have a more useful way of doing this, you could use the find. So this is pretty much, let's say we want it to find 6. You could run a loop and have a counter. So if that counter increments up 1 every time it goes well, for every element that it goes through. And if it finds it, as you can see here, it returns 0 if it is found and negative 1 if it is not found. So if it equals negative 1, you can break out of that loop and then pretty much just store whichever, since that counter is going to already be set, you can use the set command to change 6 to that counter value and then to the value that you want. So you could scan for 5 once it's found, just literally simply do that. So now we're going to move on to delete at. So we're going to use the find as well. We're going to, let's try to delete, I don't know, the three here. So we would have our array, delete at. Now we're going to combine this with the find command. So with this, it is the array, so our array, find 3. So this should go through, it's going to find the value 3 in the array, and it's going to delete it, well, hopefully. Yep, as you can see, 0, 1, 2, 4, 5, 6. So that's how you can kind of go through arrays and alter very specific portions that you want. That's just a simple explanation on how to use these. 
however you go to actually implement this for your use is up to you entirely. But those are just quick little examples.